The American dream is they came over here with absolutely nothing. They didn't have money, they didn't have a home. They worked hard, they saved up, and I don't know how they were able to save up even with seven kids, but uh, they were able to save up, bought their own business. Uh, obviously they couldn't get any loans or anything like that, so they paid everything off, and they just worked really, really hard. They owned their own home, a uh, few cars. So, you know, as long as you work hard, and you put your mind to it, you can do anything here in the United States. I think that my dad, he left the country to make sure we have a better life and I feel like we have such a better life now. I feel like we are living the American dream. My parents immigrated here in the late 70s after the Vietnam War. My dad was in the South Vietnamese Army, so if he would have stayed in Vietnam, they would have put him in the concentration camps. My dad was 22 and my mom was 21. If you can imagine just being that age and leaving the only thing that you know. He jumped on a boat, uh, left Vietnam with just whatever he had on his back. So it wasn't very much. My mom was also pregnant at the time. I know we complain about you know long flights, but I can't even imagine you know, going on a boat with, you know, your little, your, your little baby and being pregnant, but that's what my parents did. A family in El Paso decided to sponsor our family. They were Catholic and the El Paso family was a Catholic family as well and they, they just said, hey, we'll take you in. My father actually named his firstborn son after him. Uh, we call him Jim now. He started going to school to learn how to do carpentry and other construction work. Uh, there was always a language barrier, but his mind was set to work hard and provide for his family, and, and it didn't matter what his education level was, he was going to do that. And eventually he saved up enough money to open up his own washeteria. I learned how to fold at a young age. I'm very particular about my folding now. I have six other siblings, and we had lived in a small house, so he never treated himself. You know, He took pride in treating us once in a while when he could afford it. And so he taught us, you know, selflessness. He taught us what it meant to be family. Some of us would share, you know, a bedroom with three other kids. All nine of us sat at the kitchen table. It was very cramped, but you know, we, we ate rice, so we were really skinny. <laughs> so it worked. Uh, we got a lot of hand-me-downs. Um, me being the youngest boy, I never got any new clothes. So I got all my brother's leftover clothes, even some of my sister's. After a few years, he sold that and, and he opened up a grocery store, but uh, he was always there, very dependable, never had any sick days. And so that kind of showed us, you know, hey, you know, uh, with hard work, uh, you, can, you can do anything in the United States, in, in America, and have American dream. I don't really take a day off now, too, just because I see what he's done and how inspirational it was. I worked in the restaurant industry for about 10 years, and I saved up for a while knowing, you know what, like, eventually I want to have my own business, just like my parents, you know, and be successful and do my own thing. That's the American dream. I am co-owner of Ambrosia Restaurant. Ambrosia Restaurant is an Asian fusion tapas style restaurant. Here we have all sorts of Asian food. We have Japanese, we have Korean, we have Thai, and try to mesh it together so it's very creative and very tasteful. With the Vietnamese style culture, we always have a family style uh, meal, so everything's meant to be shared, kind of like tapas. It makes me think about my parents' hardships, like everything that they worked for, and everything that they wanted for us is, is coming true, you know. My dad passed away a little bit over 10 years ago, and it was before we owned the restaurant, but I know that if he could see what we are, you know, what we're doing now, he'd be very proud. So me and my brother get to work together at this restaurant. I was able to get an education. To see that it paid off, it's something that I think he'd be very, very happy and satisfied about. That's the whole reason why he left, was to make sure that his children and his family got a better life. So, yeah, my dad would be proud. <laughs>